everyone it's Kaylee and welcome back to another video so in today's video I'm going to be filming me getting ready and doing my makeup while I answer some questions from you guys that I posted on my Instagram um, I asked you guys to answer me ask me a couple of questions so I did answer all of those questions that you guys did ask me um, some is personal some is not so it was just a whole wide variety of all these different questions questions while I do my makeup so I hope you guys enjoy and sorry with how I'm gonna look I'm not gonna look like this in the next clip that you're gonna see so just be aware <laughs> but I promise you it will get better towards then just keep watching and yeah I will see you guys in the next clip all right so don't mind my acne I've literally I already know don't come at me in the comments my acne is horrible um, I've just been dealing with a lot of stuff mentally um, and just haven't been in the best mood so you know stress and everything like that really shows with acne so I don't need all the comments I know most of it's just scarring anyways so I don't need any of that just starting that off with that because I already know because I get a lot of comments about oh my gosh you should take care of your skin I do take care of my skin it's just you know some people are fortunate to have nice skin and some people have acne and in that case I have acne as you can see um so Starting off, we are going to moisturize my face. I always have to moisturize my face um, just to prep my skin. Um, and you always just want to moisturize your face, even if you don't wear makeup or anything in that sort. Um, but yeah, I use the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. My face is going to get really red because I just rub the crap out of it so don't mind my tomato looking face right now <laughs> all right so like i said in the beginning of this video it is going to be a q a while i do my makeup so i did post on my instagram story asking you guys to ask me some questions while i do my makeup and i posted one earlier this morning and then i posted one a couple weeks ago because i was going to film this but then i forgot so I have those questions also. So let's start off by doing the base. So I'm gonna, I already moisturized like I said, and now I'm going to be priming my face with the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer. This helps a lot with, um, cause it has vitamin C in it and vitamin C um, lightens any like dark, or redness, not redness, but like any dark spots. So I love using this and it also is just a really good face primer in all. So I've been using this like probably for about a week. I've had it for a long, well not a long time, but I've had it for quite a while and I just never thought to use it, but vitamin C is very good for your skin, especially in the morning to start things off. So I put that primer on and um, I'm just going to start doing these questions. So, for the first question is, do you like your new school better than your last one? All right, so so if you guys do remember back in the beginning of this year, I did transfer schools because I just didn't like how my old school was. Nothing, like nothing, hold on, my phone is like blowing up this morning, sorry. So nothing really bad was, at my old school, I just personally, the people and just the, the surroundings, I just did not enjoy at all. Um, I was there for a year and a half, I think, and then I decided to move because I just really did not like that school. Um, so I moved to a different school and, sorry, <laughs> and the first day of me going to school because back then COVID wasn't a thing so we could actually go to school so yeah I went to school for about let me just say like three or four months because I went in January and then I think COVID happened in March so January February 
January, literally three months. I went to school over there for three months, so I didn't really get the full experience on how that school is. Um, by the start of it, I really did like it because the teachers were new, they were nice to me and everything, like, well, they weren't new, but they were new to me. So, but they were, like, really nice. They helped me with things that I needed help on. Um, the kids over there, the students, were a lot just, like, you know, focused on themselves. They didn't want to start drama. Unlike my other school, there was a lot of kids that did start drama, and there was just, I don't know. I'm not going to get too into it, but yes, for the question, I do like the school that I'm at now way better. I wish that we could go back so I can, you know, meet my new teachers for this year. Um, but yeah, um, they say that we're going back January 19th, and it is currently October 27th. So, it's quite a while from now, but, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, I do like this school that I'm at now compared to my other school. Next question, um, I did get a couple questions from my friend Melanie, um, but she's like, who's your assistant? So, you know, I really don't have like an assistant that I pay and everything like that. It's just like, I don't need that right now. But my friend Melanie, she is a very good person to help with me. So she helps with a lot of stuff that I do like I'm very thankful for that because you know but like Melanie is like always always there um especially right now since I'm really starting to focus on my bikini line um if you guys don't already know I am starting my own bikini swimsuit line it's called KJ's Kini's Boutique um you should follow it on Instagram at just KJ's Kini's Boutique. I will have it linked down below so you guys can follow it because I'm, a, I'm, can you focus? I am wanting to launch it right now. I'm just really getting everything focused and since um, it is a handmade bikini company, it does take a while to get all the swimsuits made and everything since you need to get the fabric, you need to do all the sewing and everything like that. So. Yeah, um, she's helped a lot with that and just a lot with my YouTube. She's the person that literally takes all of my Instagram pictures. She's just, I we pretty much call each other like she's my assistant, which I love, but like, you know, I'm not making her do it. It's just like we both love doing it together. So, um, yeah, so she's technically my assistant, if you would. So the next question is, where would where is a place you would love to go but never been before? So a place that I would love to go but never been is obviously Paris. Um, I'm really thinking um, to maybe for my next birthday, I don't know if this would be possible, but maybe for this for my next birthday or the next one coming up, I would love to take a trip with me and my friends and go to Paris. It's just, I don't know, like a dream of mine. Like I really want to go to Paris like so bad. Um, especially since I took French, so I know some French and everything like that, so it's going to be easy. But yeah, that's one place that I would love to go but never been before. For the next question, it is, what is your favorite type of music and what is your favorite song right now? So, my favorite type of music is probably rap. Um, if you guys have listened to my... Um, what, is the, what are those things called that I do? The song, the playlist videos. I do listen to a lot of rap. That's just, I don't know, my favorite type of music. But, um, like genre to be exact. But I do listen to a lot of like, I don't know, lately I've been listen, listening to a lot of calm music. Um, there's this one playlist that I have on Apple Music that is of like this girl's that I found and it's like I don't know it's very calming and it has just like very relaxing music um not like just like music that doesn't have words and everything it has words it's kind of not like I don't want to be like sad music but you know it has like just music that you can just you know listen to and just vibe to so that's like the type of music that I've been listening to um, right now, and my favorite song 
for a while my favorite song was mood swings by pop smoke i don't know why it's just like when i first um listened to that song i just if you hear the garbage man i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah um that was my favorite song right now i don't really have one i just kind of vibe and listen to whatever i have in my playlist to be exact um but yeah another question is from my friend lucy she's like how much do you love me i love you a lot lucy um and then the next question is what is your dream vacation so i don't really have a dream vacation anywhere out of the states to be exact anywhere out of the united states like hawaii paris um i don't know i just really want to start traveling a lot more like i used to travel a lot to like different states and everything but the only time that i've been like out of the country was to south africa and that was when i was five so i haven't really been anywhere out of the country in a long long time but yeah um someone asked what is your favorite movie so i don't really have a favorite movie um i've been literally watching a movie every single night to you know i mean i don't really have anything else to do so last night i watched rebecca and that was a really good movie like i really did enjoy that it's new on netflix um but yeah it's called rebecca i really do i really did like that movie so um yeah i don't really have a favorite movie at the moment but that was a good movie if you want to watch it um i've been recently since it is october i've been watching like scary movies every single night that's just what I normally do in October, just to um, get my spooky season up, you know. And someone said, where are you from? I'm from California, um, if you guys haven't already noticed by, you know, the vibe and my Instagram. It's literally all in California. Um, but yeah. Next question that somebody asked, do you have a relationship? Are you in a relationship? Um, no, I'm not in a relationship at the moment. Um, you know, I low-key want one, but at the same time, I just really want to focus on myself and my brand and really, you know, make, you know, I, I can always have time for a relationship, but like right now, it's just like, especially what I'm going through right now, it's just like better off to, for me to be just like by myself and just be with my friends and family and, you know, um... But yeah, no, I'm not in a relationship. Someone else asked, when and how did you start your YouTube channel? So I started my YouTube channel back in November of 2018, I'm pretty sure. So, um, yeah, I started it back then. And how I did, I've said this in previous videos before, but I've always wanted to fully start a YouTube channel. That's just what I've always loved. And really put myself out there and just be on the YouTube, you know, world. Um, I just love how on YouTube you can literally post anything and everything you want. And it's pretty much just, um, you know, no one can really stop you on what you can post unless it's like really bad and like YouTube takes it down. But, um, you know, if you wanna pursue something like makeup, like how a lot of influencers do, you totally can and a lot of people makeup is probably the number one thing that can really get you out there and going so I've always wanted to focus my stuff on makeup because that's what I love I love doing my makeup but um, I don't know just recently in like the past like couple months um, I haven't really been thinking about just focusing on makeup which kind of sucks because i do really love doing makeup um but yeah that's when i started and how i started i've just always been a love for youtube so just one day i decided i was with my friend and i'm like i'm gonna start a youtube channel and i made one i literally literally within like five minutes told her I made one, sat down on my floor, took my phone out, recorded myself doing my makeup or her, her makeup, and that's just how I started. It wasn't just a spur, I mean, it was just a spur of the moment. I just randomly said, I'm going to start it. We did it, uploaded it, and yeah. Um, and then 
another question is how old are you so i am 16 years old i know a lot of people think i am like 18 or 19 definitely not 16 but yeah i'm just 16 years old all right another question i get asked pretty frequently is do you have lip filler and no i do not have lip filler these are my natural lips if you look back from like two years ago from like my very first um youtube video you can see my lips are naturally like this um i was blessed to have somewhat big lips to for me to not get my lips done um right now i don't think like i mean it's not a bad thing but like right now like i would like to get lip filler just to fill like make them a little bit more plump not you know like a full-on like whole thing to make them look big big um but that's just not what i would do right now you know um but if you have yours done by all means it's up to you and what you want for your body but just personally i would not get my lips done as of right now i'm 16 um probably when i'm like 18 i'll do that um next one is how did you blow up off of youtube so <laughs> i blew up because of my bikini videos um those are my most highest um what is it called most high highest viewed videos on youtube i think i have like four million views or three almost four million views on one of my videos i think it was like the first bikini video that I did but like yeah that's how I like blew up off of YouTube which I'm you know I wasn't expecting that but I'm glad that I did blow up because I'm glad to have all of you guys subscribed and following my journey in life and everything like that the next question is how long have you had your belly, belly button pierced for and what do you like about it the most? So I've had my belly button pierced for going on five years. I've literally had my belly button pierced since eighth grade and I'm a junior, which is absolutely insane. Um, I've always wanted my belly button pierced so fortunately my mom let me get my belly button pierced. Um, my dad was not quite happy about it at all, but you know that's just how it's gonna go okay i need to do my eyeliner but like i don't know how i'm going to but yeah i got my belly button pierced going on five years and what do you like about it the most so um you don't need piercings to make yourself confident especially belly button piercings but for me personally a belly button piercing made me more confident it made me you know love my stomach or body more than i did previously without it so yeah going on five years and just really helped my confidence boost a lot next one did you leave and then my school's name which i'm not gonna say but yes i did leave my old school i transferred like i said probably the best decision <laughs> that i've made so i don't have any more questions that i need to answer because i've answered all the ones that are what i would like to say so i'm just going to finish my makeup all i have left is just this eye i mean not eyeliner um mascara and highlight and lips and then i'm done So thank you guys so much for watching me getting ready and doing my makeup while I answer some questions. Um, I love doing these type of videos and interacting with you guys on my Instagram and um, answering your guys' questions on my YouTube. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And make sure you go follow my Instagram at KJ's Boutique for my bikini instagram i'm going to 
hopefully drop my line of bikinis really soon. I just need to get all these bathing suits made because it is a long process of, you know, hand making swimsuits. So that is what I'm doing right now, just getting everything situated. I have my website ready, I have everything ready. Um, but yeah, make sure you go follow my bikini Instagram and so you get notified and everything like that. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.